This is a set of Napier's bones, which were invented in the early 1600s. They're used for multiplying with a big number. Each stick has a number at the top, along with nine rows of numbers arranged in its triangles. There's a special stick called the index rod, which just has all the digits one through nine in order. Unlike a lot of things in mathematics, Napier's bones were actually named after the person who actually invented them, John Napier. Napier was a Scottish nobleman who's best known for inventing the logarithm. He computed and published the first book of logarithmic tables, which also happened to be the first major work to write numbers using a decimal point. Napier invented logarithms, which eventually led to the invention of the slide rule. But Napier's bones actually have nothing to do with logarithms or slide rules. The bones give you the exact answer when you want to multiply a large multi-digit number by a single digit. Here's how you do it. It looks a bit magical. Let's multiply 7 times 240,983. First you line up the bones like this. The index rod goes on the left, and then you put the other rods in order, uh, spelling out your big number across the top. So I want 2, 4, 0, 9, 8, and then 3. Now I look at 7 on the index rod, and I look across the bones just in that row. And as you look across, you add numbers up diagonally. So I got 1 here, then 2 plus 6 is 8, then 3 plus 5 is 8 again, then a 6, then an 8, then 2 and 4 is 6, and then this 1 here. And that's the answer. Really, that is the answer. Uh, you can check it if you want. Here, I'll check it on my calculator. See, that is a calculator. I bet you thought I was gonna, but this, but this is a calculator. It's a Burroughs calculator because I like the old. I don't like the new ones. I like the old ones better. This is a calculator. I'm just gonna just do it. Actually, this is based on a method of multiplication called lattice multiplication. Here's an example. If I want to do 25 times 43, the way I learned when I was a kid looks like this. Actually, when I was a kid, I didn't write it exactly this way, but I'm splitting out a few steps so we can see it a bit more clearly. You do the 5 times 3 is 15, and then the 2 times 3 is 6, but you offset it over here. And then you do 4 times 5, that's 20, and then 4 times 2 is 8. And then you add all of these up, and you get uh, 1,075. The lattice multiplication would look like this. You write one number vertically and one horizontally. So there's the 25 and the 43. And then you make a little grid. That's the lattice. And in each grid spot, you write the product of those single digits. So here I do 4 times 2 is 8. Here 4 times 5 is 20. And then you put these little diagonal lines in, and you stick in zeros if you need to. And now we add up diagonally going down. I get 5 over here, and then 0 plus 6 plus 1 is 7 here. And then 2 plus 8 is 10 here, and that's my answer. It looks totally different than the way I learned it in school, but if you put them side by side, you'll see it's really the same thing. It's just rearranged. See, the answer is still being computed as a 5 over in the rightmost digit, and then a 1 plus 6 plus 0 in the middle, and then 2 plus 8 gives you 10 on the left. Here's another lattice example. Let's try 7 times 240,983, which is what we did on the bones before. The lattice this time has just a single row, and it looks like this. It's familiar, doesn't it? See, the numbers on the bones are the same as the ones that appear in the lattice. That's why the bones gives you the right answer. The bones seem like a novelty today, but they were actually a bit of a revolution when they were invented. Before the bones, the only real computational device was the abacus. In fact, the bones were sometimes referred to as a rod abacus, not because it works like an abacus, but people just had no concept of a physical device for computation except for the abacus. But for the specific task of multiplying a big number by a single digit, the bones are much, much better than an abacus. Here, let's try my old example, 7 times 240,983 on an abacus. I'm going to use my Russian abacus. Uh, lucky for me, it's got a lot of digits. You need one row of beads for each digit. So a smaller abacus would fail on this computation right away. Now, I'm not very good at using an abacus, so I hope you'll forgive me if I do it kind of slowly. Uh, I'm going to say out loud all the stuff that I have to do in my head as I go. I go 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 8 is 56 up here. 
7 times 9 is 63 up here. 7 times 0 is 0 in this digit. 7 times 4 is 28 up here. 7 times 2 is 14. This is not really easy. You have to remember the numbers that you're working with in your head as you're doing it. Plus you have to do a bunch of mental multiplying at the same time. And you also have to move little beads around, which is hard unless you practice a lot. I had to re-record this several times because I kept messing it up. Some people would practice hard to become really awesome on the abacus. But even a fool like me can easily use the bones. So the bones is a great improvement over the abacus and it's pretty fun to use today. It's also really easy to make your own set. I'll show my complete set here if you want to make one. Just copy the numbers that I have and make sure they all line up right. I made mine with a sharpie on the back of Home Depot paint sticks. Ask the paint person nice and they'll give you some for free. They get suspicious giving out lots of them at once, so make a few trips.